will answer then, and what I will answer then, I am corrected. Then the Lord answered me and said, look what he, look what he says to the prophet. Write the vision and, then, and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is set for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Look what he says. This is where Paul comes from. Behold the proud. His soul is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Look, we're, look when we come to Christ, when we're trust, if we're truly trusting God, we, we, we're going to realize, look, there's going to be times in this temporal world that things are not going to add up to us in a moment, in a time. And there's going to be times that we may even suffer, for, uh, suffer persecution in a wrong way. And, and we may think that we're mistreated. Or we may think things that happen to us that we do not understand. But the thing here, living by faith is understanding that we got a faith and a trust in a God who is sovereign over the whole universe. And that he is not powerless over anything. That he has all power. He has all control. And look, in one day, look, right now we are in a, a, fallen, a fallen world. And in and, and the end, God's cons, the consummation of the high, entire kingdom has not come yet. But look, just like the people in the back, of, just like God was saying, look, have faith in me. When something happens you don't understand, you can still have joy, you can still have the fruit of the Spirit, you can still have peace, you can still have uh, long-suffering, you can still have all these things if we trust in God. Our faith is in God who gives us righteousness. Our faith is in God who gives us salvation. He gives us an eternal, a, an eternal perpetual salvation. It's not just one who lasts here and now, but it lasts for eternity. Look, it's easy to get caught up. It's easy to get caught up here and now. And it's easy to listen to people who want to give you a message and tell you that everything is okay. And I, I'm, I'll say something here. Um, I've heard it quoted. And, and and what was said was, it said, believing, talking about believing in those things which are not as though they were, and having faith that they will come about. If we are having faith in our own belief, in our own thoughts, that what we want to happen to come about, we've, we've taken it out of context. We, we've taken it wrong. Uh, in Romans 4.17, where it says, look, here's where, here's where we... We need to listen and understand. Uh, God who gives life to the dead and calls those which do not exist as though they did. It is God who calls. It is God who speaks things into existence. You can your faith, look, your trust and your faith and your words, people play a big emphasis on, on words. And look, the power of of the word is tremendous and we need to uplift and we need to encourage but when we come to the point in time that we come to a place in our life where we're trusting in the power of our words oh dear God I want a new house or oh dear God I'm trusting you and we come up with words hey we're, we're speaking and we're expecting God to bring to pass what we want but what Abraham was doing and what, hey, where Abraham's faith was, his faith was in the God who causes things which do not exist as though they were. Look, you see the difference there? You see, the difference is you're not trusting in what you think should happen. Your faith and trust is in the eternal God who controls all things that happen. That's where our faith needs to lie. Our faith needs to lie in that God. In His eternal power. And then, when we get sick, we can go through it. We can understand. Say, God, I know you know. Look, our faith is knowing that we know what's best, that God knows what's best for us. Maybe He wants to show something to somebody else. I don't know. Maybe, maybe for some reason we need to be shown something. Maybe we need to be humble. But whatever reason something is happening to us, we do not need to lose faith. Because, because, 
because it's going on at that time. Because we have an eternal, perpetual salvation. Not here and now. If your faith is in here and now, you got at some point in some time. Hey, these preachers who stand up and offer you the world, these preachers who stop, stand up and say, give this and you'll be given a million dollars. Or, you know, these these. These people who want to have a big, big gathering and, and preach prosperity and wealth and say you're not in God's will. Or there's something wrong with your faith if you're not healed. It's not always God. Hey, we are all eternally healed in Christ Jesus. There's coming a time and a place where we will receive a glorified body. But you look back at Job. Everything didn't go always pleasant for Job. You look at these disciples. If what they were preaching was true, these people would not even die. So we need to have our faith in God and not in a temporal gospel. Not in a gospel that offers us a short-term plan. God offers a long-term plan in salvation. That is the gospel that we have. Alright, I hope this made a little sense. Uh, the focus is really, I, I don't know, it may have been scattered, but, but we see, again, Paul's not ashamed of what? He's not ashamed of Christ because it's a power. It's the power. The gospel is the power by which we're saved. And we receive that, hey, we receive that power through faith in God. We receive that power through faith in what God did for us in Christ. And that's the only way we become righteous. God gives us a righteousness that's not His own righteousness. He gives us a, a right, an innate righteousness. It's a double Hey, it's a double transfusion or a double imputation. Christ takes on our, our unrighteousness and He gives us His righteousness. So when that happens, we find we have, we have standing. We have a right standing with God. And we can live in faith. The just shall live by faith. When we walk, hey, as we live our daily lives, we need to, look, when we accept Christ, we need to trust Christ and we need to trust God knowing that we're okay. Everything, hey, if, I, if that's where your faith and peace relies, in the, look, God's Holy Spirit gives you that peace. All the other things that give you peace can be taken away. We're not promised that we'll have anything that's in this world. But we have eternal life in Christ Jesus. We're offered more than just a temporal world. We're offered a perpetual salvation, an eternal salvation. All right, let's go to the Lord in prayer and we'll be closed. Father, we bow our heads this morning. I thank you for your love and kindness. God, I thank you for your word. I thank you for uh, what we see in your word and how it encourages us. Lord, uh, we thank you for how we see our own unrighteousness and how we see the, how ungodly we are. Because, Lord, we realize if we didn't see that we were ungodly and unrighteous, we wouldn't even make an attempt to come to you. But, God, I'm, I'm thankful that your word shows shows me how uh, unrighteous I am and how righteous you are. But then, God, you, you don't leave me sitting there in woe and disgust in myself. Lord, as I come, in the shame of my own sins, I look at the cross and, God, I'm not ashamed of what you've done for me and how you brought me out and how you give me uh, righteousness, God, that, that I can uh, approach you and that I can be part of your family. And that's found in the gospel. And that is a powerful thing, God. There's no other power that can save me. And I'm thankful for that this morning. God, go with us next week. Go with my children, God. Go with these. Go with them, Lord. Instruct them. Move in their hearts and spirits, Lord. Uh, show them your word. Show them your power through your word, Lord. And God, I pray, Lord, I pray right now that you would uh, just make us, let us be used of you, Lord. We, we can only do what you allow us to to be God, but let us we make our let us make ourselves. We want to make ourselves uh, usable, Lord. We want to make our, submit ourselves to you, God, and ask, Lord, God, that you would uh, give us the the ability and the opportunity to share this wonderful, this powerful message, the the message that is found in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you and love you. These things we ask in your name. Amen.